The Early News, brought to you tonight by WMUR-TV, your reporter, Roland Boucher. Richard Cardinal Cushing of Boston said today he will enter St. Elizabeth's Hospital on Wednesday to undergo surgery. However, the pilot says the Cardinal is entering the hospital for further tests and study. The newspaper says his physician, Dr. Richard Wright, has not yet made the final decision on therapy. The nature of the tests has not been disclosed. Martin Luther King led more than 1,000 Negroes in a march this morning to the county courthouse at Selma, Alabama. Marchers lined up at the voter registration office, forming lines more than six city blocks long. A federal judge in Mobile has ordered the release of 50 persons jailed during the demonstration at Selma. The group includes two white ministers from the Boston area. The president of the mass unit of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference said today, the bombing of the home occupied by Malcolm X is a terrible act, which we fully condemn and deplore. The Reverend Virgil Wood said our commitment to justice means that we're squarely against any violence to any person. Nat King Cole died this morning at the age of 45 after a two-month-long fight against lung cancer. Cole entered a hospital at Santa Monica, California in December and underwent surgery for removal of his left lung three weeks ago today. The smooth-voiced singer charmed a generation of fans as a recording and nightclub star. His most famous records include Mona Lisa, Too Young, Nature Boy, and Just One of Those Things. Nat Cole began a life in Alabama as Nathaniel Adams Coles, dead at the age of 45, but leaving behind songs to remember. A recovery team tonight is taking soundings to pin down the exact location of the body of trapped cave explorer James Mitchell of Winthrop, Massachusetts. They will sink a shaft into the cavern tomorrow at Dogeville, New York. Police say Mitchell's body has been recovered from a deep crevice within the cave and they say he is definitely dead. However, police say the digging operations will proceed to recover the body from the cave. Soviet Premier Kosygin has returned to Moscow. Diplomatic sources say his 10-day mission to Asia apparently did little to solve the Sino-Soviet rift. Although Russia and Communist China exchanged warm messages during the weekend to mark the 15th anniversary of the Sino-Soviet Friendship Treaty, diplomats said they appear appeared merely to give lip service to solidarity between the two communist giants. More news after this sports word from Nick. Well, money is the big story in the world of sports this evening. Slugger Mickey Mantle has joined Joe DiMaggio as the only Yankee players ever to receive three $100,000 contracts. Mantle has agreed to his third straight $100,000 pact, making him second to San Francisco's Willie Mays as the highest paid players in the majors this season. Mantle told the New York News Conference via telephone from his Dallas home that he took what the club offered. He added, it's getting too close to the end to ask for more. Veteran pro basketball star Bob Pettit of the St. Louis Hawks will be sidelined at least two weeks with a partial tear in the left knee. The 33-year-old Pettit suffered the injury yesterday afternoon in a game against the Cincinnati Royals. Earlier this season, he was out with a severe back injury following a collision with a Los Angeles player. Co-owner Lou Peary says two groups want to buy the NBA Boston Celtics and they'll open preliminary negotiations later this week. Perry says it's unlikely the franchise will be sold to a group planning to move the team out of Boston. He also says the asking price may very well top the $2.2 million mark. That's the top of the world of sports tonight. And now with the rest of today's news, here's Skip Boucher. This final news story, in Sofia, Bulgaria, 300 Asian, African, Latin American, and Bulgarian students clashed with police at the U.S. legation. The anti-American demonstrators broke through a cordon of 100 policemen, threw garbage at the legation, and smashed several windows. The weather story, clear and cooler tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures in the 40s. That's the news and the weather story up to this moment. Skip Boucher reporting. You've just heard the early news as another presentation of WMUR-TV, Channel 9. Your reporter, Skip Boucher.